that is widely accepted, heralded, praised by Cuban folk. Nominated and, by the Latin Grammys. Wow. Well, a song of the year by the late Latin Grammys. And they are running see? for their lives. Do we have time to see a part of it, a little part of it? Yeah, sure. If you can post it, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll show you. I'll show you, I'll show you because this song is nominated for the Latin Grammys. And I want you to understand that when you see this, that a, a, when you see this, there are five men, five, five black men singing this song. Okay. Five black men singing the song. And out of these five black men, three are in the United States, but two are in Cuba. See that little bit of the song. And I want everybody from the African American community all over the United States to see five, there we go, to see five black Cubans. Five black Cubans. And, and it has 8.5 million views. Wow, 8.5 million. Oh, my Lord. That's a yeah. small country right there. Yeah. Cuba have 11 million people. <laughs> so wow. that's a that country. But I want to keep reiterating to people, these two gentlemen you, you refer to are in Cuba. One, we don't know where his whereabouts is. The other one, he's basically running for his life for writing a song of and dissent, period. Right. And these five black men. Yes. And five yet this, this is the same regime that welcomes Obama and, and what's that, uh, the uh, Jay-Z and his wife. And, Beyonce. Yeah, they talk about how wonderful it is. And even, yet they even, have. Yeah, even the wife, uh, Jill Biden was there. Oh, my goodness. They turn into a family vacation. Public which is a public education system, which is a complete disaster. Yes. It's yeah. a, oh, man, it's just ridiculous. And yet. And now we, we have this Asata Shakur. Do they are they very open and walking about in Cuba or, or? they are open and walking about, but think about that. The government the Cuban government people don't have any idea who are they. Mm. Wow. Cuban people don't have idea who are they. Wow, okay. So she's been there for for years and years and years and years. First yeah. of all, not many people knows. Not many people knows how these people live there. Under what circumstances I should not be like the normal people because the normal people re lives really bad. Yes. In a really bad situation, first of all. And second of all, eh, they are not among, they don't walk among us. Hmm. Uh, no, they, they, they've been treated, they, they've been well kept over there. Yes, they do. So do you, what, what benefit do you think the Cuban government uh, receives in, in giving shelter or asylum to someone like an Asata Shakur? These people are the, 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 the door to their organizations, mm. aren't they? These people have relationships. These people have contacts in America. That's the reason why you find the government saying, you know, a lot of, of these organizations, BLM, is saying just to remove the, the, the to lift up the embargo. Why would BLM say that as an organization that started the other day? Right. Why would these people say that? That's, those are the connections. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Right. That's how the news is spread. Wow. Wow. I'm going to make sure that this song is posted. Uh, and yeah. we, and we, we let the African-American community yes. know that, yes, yes, there are black people in Cuba. Yes. That, yes, we have been killed. That yes, we have living in a squalor and misery. Absolutely. And yes, the same government that is telling them, all oh, come to, to Cuba to learn and stuff like that, will kick and beat even women and children. Mm -hmm. Black women and children. Right. Tell them the truth. We got to tell them the truth, sister. Tell them right. the truth. Yes. The truth. Sis, I'm, I'm going to um, close it here. I, I did want to share with you that. I am working with a couple other people, and we're developing a uh, petition where we want to present it to uh, key agencies. Uh, we're, we're hoping that the two of Ken Kentucky's two senators will present this petition to key agencies here in the United States, where we are demanding the immediate and unconditional extradition of Asata Shakura from Cuba, and she be brought back to the United States to face justice. And we hope that this petition would generate discussion 
in a, about, you know, generally talk about, start talking about the true conditions of the Cuban people, start talking about uh, terrorists like her, how they do not reflect uh, the legitimate aspirations of the, the Cuban people or, or, or black folk in the United States, and that, you know, criminal behavior is criminal behavior, period. You know, it's, it's criminal behavior is criminal behavior. I don't care what your rhetoric is. And we, we do know that basically, you know, in many, re, many ways, the socialist regime in Cuba is criminal. Uh, yes. It's obviously repressive. And, um, you know, uh, someone like Asata Shakur, she's, she's a criminal. And people need to be, criminals need to be brought to justice and, and, paid, for their, and paid for their crimes. Sister, as always. Let's hope, let's hope with all our faith and pray with all our faith, Corbin, that this actual government we have will uh, develop a sense of decency and righteousness and yeah. do what is right yes, rather than what, to be what is politically convenient. Exactly. Do what's right. Do the right thing. President Biden, you heard it straight from the mouth of my sister, Irina. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do prayer. <laughs> Let's pray you listen, brother. Let's pray you listen. Tell them, President, you got to listen, man. All right, sis, I got to cut us off here. And, um, you know, I appreciate it. Hope we can do- it's a pleasure. Garvey. Hope we can do it again sometime soon. All the time. Anytime, you say.